Hey guys, it's Olivia, AKA with Love OA, and I am back for another video. Um, I decided to take a little break because I wanted to wait until I got into my new house so that I could actually film real videos <laughs> because I film videos in my car and it's because like, it's not aesthetically pleasing where um, I live right now. I mean, it's a beautiful home, but I just have a specific vision and a specific look. So um, I will be moving into my new house next month. It's officially built. Um, and so expect a house tour. And I don't know if you guys want like home decor videos. If you do, please let me know. But that's totally besides the point because today we are going to talk about how I was able to land a job one week before I graduated. So let's start from the top. So when I first entered into my coding boot camp, I went to the Flatiron School. I knew specifically exactly that I wanted to come in and I wanted to brand myself as the X girl, meaning I wanted to be the design girl. From day one, everyone knew me as the design girl. Like I was the front end girl. I was the girl that can make things pretty. And so I just super duper pigeonholed myself into that as a marketing tactic even because I wanted it to be to where I wanted to, to be like a specialist in that way. And if ever there were a job to come up that was front end based or design based, Olivia's your girl, period, point blank, don't even gotta think about it. And so there's, one, there's two different marketing angles when it comes to looking for a job. You can either be the general generalized person where it's like you, um, you know, you you can do pretty much anything in general, or you're not like you know, kind of like a like a, a, a like if you go to the doctor, the doctor that like gives you your physical, that's like an all around doctor, and then you have like an OBGYN, or or you have like a um, dermatologist or whatever. Those are specialty, and so um, I just knew that essentially I wanted to do that. So whenever I did my um my presentations like we had to do um we had to do little uh presentations for the boot camp sorry there's just a lot of traffic going on right now uh we had to do presentations and so i would make everything design based we had to do a tech blog my tech blog was all about design um, whenever I would work on a group project, I would handle the front end, I would handle the design, which sometimes caused a little bit of some strife because I knew that coming into a project, I wanted to work on the front end. So, um, just as a side note and a sidebar, you know, don't really pigeonhole yourself like that because what wound up happening is that I didn't get really good at the back end. And so right now I'm kind of playing catch up with, the, um, you know, back end languages. Um, I mean, I know how to build in them, but I just wasn't very good because I only focused on the front end and I wound up getting a full stack position. <laughs> So, um, so anyway, so, so that's my first tip is to brand yourself, whatever you want to do, become that person. Um, obviously learn everything you can as deeply and as, as intensely as you can, but mostly, um, you know, become the ex person. Like there were people in my cohort that were like, they were just the really smart people. So like, if you had a person that was looking for more experience, hey, this person's your person. Um, or maybe someone had a great personality or maybe someone had, you know, kind of an antisocial personality, like find your lane um, and kind of stick to that. Um, so that when the that job comes your way, um, people can think about you for that. So I, I don't know if that makes sense, but I really hope that makes sense. And then the second thing that I did that was huge was, and I tell people this all the time, they're like, how the heck did you get a job so fast? I talked about programming all of the time on social media. Everyone knew that I was doing this program. Everyone knew that I was, um, that I was going into engineering. Everyone knew the projects that I was working on, on LinkedIn, on Facebook, on Instagram. Everyone knew what I was doing. Um, would those posts get as many likes? No, but there would be awareness that Olivia is a programmer now. This is exactly what she's doing. And guess what? That's how I got my job. So had I not um, continued to post 
all of the time about programming, putting pictures of my screen, of the code, like hashtag girl engineer, like all these different things had I not did that, I would not have been recognized. And actually what wound up happening in my situation specifically was I had an old colleague that I was Facebook friends with and she reached out to me and she said, Olivia, are you programming now? that's crazy and I was like yeah I am you know I'm, I'll be graduating very soon and she's like whoa are you gonna be wanting a job as a programmer and I'm like yeah and she's like oh my husband works for x y and z in parentheses it's very large very highly esteemed country not I mean company not only in the um, state not only in the country but in the world um, and I still can't believe I work there um, but she's like, um, yeah, my husband just got promoted um, and there's a junior position available. And I'm like, what, what? And so one week before graduation, here I am scrambling. Not only am I focused on building out my, pro my final project, I'm also preparing a, a resume, not just a regular resume, but a technical resume, which is a whole nother ball game because you have to include a whole lot more stuff. I'm building out my portfolio. Literally, it was like the craziest moment because I'm trying to finish my final project, which took a ton of time and was a big deal. And then also I'm like, wait, I got to prepare for a job interview because no, I got to prepare to send my resume. So I prepared my resume in one day. It was not perfect by any means, but she's like, you got to get on it. You got to apply right now. So I whipped up my resume real quick, sent it over. They called me like a day later and offered me a job interview. And it was a three hour job interview. Let me know if you guys want more information on how the interview went. Um, and so yeah, the very next day, um, I didn't they told me that they were looking to hire very soon and so I didn't know if um, I, I hadn't gotten word and I wasn't expecting to get word but I was hoping to get word very soon and so I knew that the they wanted to talk to me again because they sent me an email and we couldn't coordinate times for us to chat about what they wanted to chat about and so I just text my friend in it and I was like hey can you ask your husband like what's going on like they want to talk to me but it's already the weekend and I'm like I cannot go this entire weekend without knowing, knowing what's going on and so anyway um he's like don't worry you got the job and then the very next week they called me and they offered me the position with the pay and it was absolutely fabulous and wonderful and great and it was before our graduation so I went on the floor and I was like everyone I got the job because everyone was like vying for me and you know sending me good vibes like because I had to go into school with my interview outfit on and um, everyone was just like you know just super duper supportive and so when I got the job I yelled it out on the floor and everyone just like went wild it was like oh my god I was the first one to get the job and the craziest part was um, the craziest part about it all is that like I on the totem pole of like competency or like people that were really really good in the program if there were I think there were like 16 people in our cohort I was probably like ch -ch 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 -ch, like third worst <laughs> Um, and I was the first one to get a job. So if you can imagine, like, the people that were, like, damn near geniuses, I got a job before everyone. And so, yeah, just continue to, so A, brand yourself, become the person for that. That was one angle. That angle didn't really come into fruit, uh, like, that didn't really, like, transpire into anything but I do feel like it 100% could have if I even entered into the job market I never entered into the job market um the Flatiron School offers um they offer uh, uh job services career services and I worked with my career lady for like two days because she had re they reach out in the final month and so she's like well I never really got to work with you but thank you can you give me a survey um, on how I did um, so yeah, I never entered into the job market, but I 100% believe that had I, had I entered into the job market, that would have been to my benefit. And then the second thing is talk about what you do. Let everyone know. Go to um, 
go to go hang out where programmers hang out let everyone know what you're doing go to different meetups have business cards looking for a job you know um really put yourself out there everyone should know you as the person that's looking for a programming job um so go to meetups talk about it on social media um write on your tech blog just make it all that you are um and i have no doubt that you'd be able to get a job very fast and so um the week of graduation i found out i had a job and then um I graduated and then I had two weeks before I started the position so I had two weeks of downtime where I spent so much time with my baby we played we went to different mommy and me events we went to baby yoga we went to everything because I had spent so much time in school and then I got the job I mean then I started um, work so anywho I hope this was very helpful for you guys please uh, let me know if it did help you out please let me know if you have any questions Insta um, message me on Instagram. I write every single person back um, and I love when you guys message me so don't feel awkward. Some people feel awkward about doing that. And comment on this video. Like, subscribe for more really awesome content that's coming very soon that won't be filmed in my car. Um, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Oh, 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 oh. I forgot the most important part. I used the law of attraction. Like, I was able to attract it attract that job because I utilize law of attraction tips and tools and techniques so definitely check out my law of attraction videos because I definitely feel like that played a major part too so anyhow I will talk to you guys later love you bye